New dialysis technique boosts survival in kidney failure. High dose hemodiafiltration produced substantially better survival compared with conventional, high flux hemodialysis in people with end stage kidney disease. What is hemodiafiltration? Hemodiafiltration is a newer technology that relies not only on diffusion but also introduces convection allowing for more efficient removal of larger and medium-sized water-soluble molecules. In a recent report, MD, PhD, Peter J. Blankenstein said at the European Renal Association Congress, a randomized, multicenter get a trial of 1360 patients treated for a median of 30 months. The results show that high-dose HDF, with a convection volume of greater than 23 L, session, improved overall survival by 23% compared with normal hemodialysis, a significant difference for the study's primary endpoint. The results were concurrently published in the New England Journal of Medicine. Dr. Blankenstein, a senior nephrologist at the University Medical Center in Utrecht, the Netherlands said, this is the first time in decades that a change in the basic concept of dialysis proved to be clinically meaningful and cool. Cost barrier in the U.S. One expert said, hemodiafiltration is the treatment which has had little U.S. approval until now may remain unavailable to most patients given the tight budgets faced by U.S. medical centers that provide dialysis. Is it good for all kidney failure patients? Actually, it is not suitable for all patients because it requires a higher blood flow rate to be effective. Specific hemodialysis machines required for hemodiafiltration. Existing hemodialysis machines are not designed to deliver high-dose hemodiafiltration. So turning to HDF would require either wholesale replacement of most existing U.S. dialysis infrastructure or retooling it to deliver HDF by adding new pump systems, as said by Dr. J. B. Wish, M.D. Another incremental cost for HDF is the special fluid treatment it employs. Because most U.S. patients have their dialysis treatments paid for by Medicare. In the U.S., Patients have dialysis reimbursements costs are covered at levels that barely cover the cost of conventional hemodialysis. The medical director of the outpatient dialysis unit at Indiana University Hospital in Indianapolis told in an interview. I don't think there is any wiggle room to cover the incremental cost of hemodiafiltration. He also added, I am shocked. If we see more U.S. adoption of hemodiafiltration, given the current economic structure, even with a 23% relative risk reduction in all-cause death, hemodiafiltration uptake has been much more robust in Europe, where a significant minority of patients with end-stage kidney diseases have already been receiving hemodiafiltration treatment, he shared. High-dose hemodiafiltration is more effective. Previous studies have failed to convincingly prove that high-dose hemodiafiltration is more effective than conventional hemodialysis, but these new findings have changed this. Dr. Andrew Davenport, MD, University College London, a senior author said, During my career, I've watched new treatments emerge for many diseases, from diabetes to cancer, but we haven't seen the same advances in the treatment of chronic kidney diseases. Benefits of hemodiafiltration During hemodiafiltration the machine removes more water from the blood than during conventional hemodialysis. The fluid being removed is continually replaced with an ultra-pure electrolyte solution, which is produced by the machine and then infused into your bloodstream during treatment. The artificial dialyzer removes the additional fluid as well as a higher level of toxins than conventional dialysis. Hemodiafiltration removing larger molecules from the blood, relying as it does on membrane diffusion, the passage of uremic toxin molecules across a membrane that is driven by concentration differences. 
Better control of blood pressure. There has been a lower incidence of patients having episodes of hypotension, means low blood pressure. Episodes of patients experiencing cramps have decreased. There have been fewer reports of patients having nausea or vomiting. A reduced rate in patients having headaches, incidences of cardiac arrhythmias have lowered. Convince as a trial team included randomized adults with end stage kidney diseases who had been on hemodialysis for at least three months and were candidates for high dose hemodia filtration at 61 centers in eight European countries. But the primary endpoint was death from any causes, there was no any option. Low mortality rate in hemodia filtration. The results showed a mortality rate of 7.1, 100 patient years with hemodia filtration and 9.2, 100 patient years with hemodialysis. However, report said the death from any cause occurred in 118 patients have 17.3% in the hemodia filtration group and 148 patients have 21.9% in the hemodialysis group. Dr. Rowe said, We are currently performing in depth analyses of the extensive data on patient reported outcomes that have been collected in the Convince Research Team study, with results get expected later this year. If you liked this video, please like our video. Please like and share our videos. Stay happy, stay healthy. Thanks for watching Great Wisdom of Health Channel.